you know, I didn't want to do this. I, I, I really didn't. But, you know, uh, y'all forced my hand. So, here we are. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm back with the first just normal video I've done in a while. You know, up until now, I've mostly... I know I've entirely just been doing the podcast on this channel, which, by the way, if you haven't seen that, uh, it's called Sonic Comic Chaos, me and my buddy Ian Waffles. Uh, we go through different Archie Sonic arcs. Um, we're currently, we just did Shadowfall. We have four episodes up, a fifth one on the way, so if that sounds interesting to you, please check it out. But enough plugging. You read the title. Uh, and now, admittedly, this title might be a little misleading, because... I don't know if Shadow is going to be in Sonic 3. I'm an idiot with a microphone. But what I do know is that I have not seen a good argument for him not being in Sonic 3. And it definitely makes the most sense for him to be in Sonic 3, in my opinion. So I just want to go through and say why I think Shadow will be in it and then debunk the arguments I've seen about why he won't or shouldn't be in it. Okay, so let's start. With really the only reason, I think, that he'll be in it. Shadow is marketable. Shadow is insanely marketable. Uh, he moves merchandise. You know, he... People, like, as much as game journalists who were born in the 1980s would like you to think otherwise, people really like Shadow, and people will pay money to see Shadow in more things. And you know who really likes Shadow? Children. You know, the, the target demo for this Sonic movie stuff so there's no reason why paramount would not look at him look at all the merchandise he sells look at how popular he is amongst the fans i mean hell every time we they release a new render for movie sonic there's a photoshop done of him as shadow like there is like the idea that they are unaware of how popular this character is and how him being in the movie would boost the attention drawn to it and would boost you know merchandise sales it's ridiculous. And you can make the argument, well, you know, but these movies have been mostly going for, like, the 90s nostalgia stuff, you know, that's not, you know, bringing up a, a bringing in a modern Sonic character doesn't make sense for what they've been doing. Uh, uh, guys, I, I hate to break it to you, 2001 was 21 years ago. I, know, I don't want to accept it either, but I think you can classify that as nostalgic. I mean, it was on the Dreamcast, for Pete's sake. And, you know, you can make the argument, well, yeah, but a lot of, you know, the general gaming public doesn't like Shadow, doesn't like any modern Sonic characters. That's not true. A very small vocal minority doesn't like Shadow. A larger group doesn't care. And another group likes him. And specifically the groups that Paramount would be trying to target, again, children, like him. So there would be no reason for them to not put him in this third movie. And now you can make arguments story-wise you can make arguments oh would it make thematic sense and i think depending on how you wrote it you could i think i've seen arguments about essentially like hey having another movie where sonic meets another rival right after the second movie where he's meeting knuckles his first rival wouldn't make a lot of sense it'd be kind of forced right and i think it really all depends i think if you play shadow up more as a villain whereas knuckles is very clearly like a tricked anti-hero in this i think you could do a lot with it again it all comes down to execution but so, that's why I think Shadow will be in it. I mean, I think aside from, you know, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, he is the most recognizable Sonic character. He is the most marketable Sonic character. Keep in mind, guys, these movies only come out every two years. Like, it takes a lot to put into a movie. So the idea that they wouldn't put one of the most popular, most marketable characters in as soon as they could, uh, quite frankly, I think it shows an, a massive amount of restraint that they didn't put him in the second one. But okay, I said that. The main reason I made this video was because I've seen a lot of arguments against Shadow being in the third movie that I thought did not hold a lot of water. And so I just kind of want to go through those now. So, first argument. But, 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 but Amy though? Why, what, what, why we're not going to introduce Amy in the third one? Uh, guys, a couple things. First, you can introduce multiple characters in the same movie. They're, they're literally doing that in, in Sonic 2. But second of all, Amy's not... Like, what, 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 you can't have a whole movie centered around introducing Amy. Amy is not, that's not going to work. You can have a whole movie centered around introducing Shadow. Shadow comes with his own lore, his own plot, his own conflict. Just Shadow on his own is enough to carry a movie. Amy is not. Now, moving on to the second thing, Metal Sonic. If you introduced her and Metal Sonic in the same movie, that could make sense. But first of all, the idea of tying Amy to Metal Sonic 
makes sense to us, because we know they were introduced in the same game, a lot of the general public probably doesn't know that. And quite frankly, I don't know how much of the general public even knows Metal Sonic. I mean, I could be mis I could be mistaken, but I think if you went up to just some randos and you were like, hey, you know, Shadow from Sonic, they'd be like, oh yeah, I know him. I'm not sure if Metal Sonic has that same notoriety. Uh, I, again, I'm, I spend a lot of time in the Sonic community bubble, so I guess I'm not completely sure. But I, I think certainly, if he is well-known, he's not as well-known as Shadow. And even then, okay, so... the you, I think people don't realize that the argument about Metal Sonic... You, have, you run to the same problem of introducing another rival in the movie right after Knuckles, except worse. Because Metal Sonic is nothing but Sonic's rival. Nothing. He is a robot, created for the purpose of defeating Sonic. With Shadow, he has his own stuff going on. So it's not like... He, like, how are you going to have an interesting movie? So essentially, then, you're having another movie with Robotnik as the main antagonist. Because it will just be him ordering around Metal Sonic. And you could do the whole Metal Overlord, he, you know, overthrows him thing. But that would have that would be a turn at the end of the movie, though. It just... It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I could see them maybe doing that later. You know, later down the line when they've established more characters. And so you could do, like, a Sonic Heroes style thing where we all got to team up to beat Metal Sonic, I don't see that being this this third movie. And also, actually, real quick, another thought I had, this video is not scripted, I just have some notes, but I thought about this right now. So we've clearly seen that Paramount wants to do spin-offs and do like other stuff, like other media with these characters. What, you think we're going to get an Amy show? What, you think we're going to get a, a, a show about you know, any of the- No! If they're going to do another show that's not the Knuckles show, it would be a Shadow show. Because- I, I, I feel like a broken record. He's insanely marketable. Like, everyone loves him. Everyone would everyone likes his design. Everyone likes you know, to buy shit. I have a Shadow the Hedgehog Funko Pop staring at me on my desk right now. Like, and so if they wanted to, you know, set up more... Like, if they wanted to pull an MCU and introduce characters that they could use to spin off into their own stuff, Shadow is way more likely for that than Amy. The last argument I've seen, and I'm, I might be forgetting some is well but shadow was introduced in sa2 after they had introduced all these other characters like the chaotix and chaos and to uh you, you know you can't like we're going that'd be going out of order guys 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 i i really hate to break it to you paramount doesn't fucking care they do not care wh wh again i'm very shocked that shadow isn't in sonic 2 the idea that they would go like, oh, well, but first we gotta do, uh, Knuckles Chaotix, and then we have to do Sonic CD, I probably got that order wrong, switch those two around, and then we have to do Sonic Adventure 1, and then we have, we can do Sonic, no, that, what? That's insane. That's the equivalent of saying, oh, well, you know, we can't put Venom in Spider-Man 3, uh, because he has to fight the Chameleon, and the Vulture, and the Sandman, and the Rhino, and the, the, the Mysterio, and, like, no! Like, and again, this comes back to another thing. Introducing Shadow in the third movie does not necessarily mean that you can't introduce other characters. You could absolutely introduce Amy in that movie. You could actually, you probably would behoove you to introduce Rouge in that movie, at least. Again, all these arguments against Shadow showing him the third one. And by the way, I don't know Shadow's gonna be in the third one. But I think it makes the most sense. I think it would make them the most money. And I have not seen... And th that's the problem, I think. That's the problem. Is everyone is arguing from a fan perspective. Everyone is arguing from a... It makes the most sense in the canon to introduce Amy first. It makes the most sense in the canon to introduce Metal Sonic. It makes the most sense to do this, that, and the other thing. But you, ha but the you have to look at this from a marketing perspective. You have to look at this from a business perspective. Who... If we're ratcheting up, if we're continuing to ratchet up, okay, Sonic 1, we just got Sonic. Sonic 2, we got Tails and Knuckles. Sonic 3, Amy is not... Go I, and I feel like I like Amy. I like Metal Sonic, too. Th those characters are not going to have that effect. They're not going to have that effect of ratcheting things up the same way a Shadow would. But, I don't know, this video is... I think I'm, I think I'm done. I think I've said everything I can. You know, let me know what you think. I could, I, I could be wrong. And also, people are looking at that logo. That logo doesn't mean anything, guys. Uh, you know, the three is red, I mean, but I, I'm sure that logo will be changed before before the final movie comes out. I don't think that, you know, the, the three being red is really anything to go off of. Go listen to the podcast if you haven't. Again, Sonic Comic Chaos, it's a fun time. You'll have fun if you'll do it. Even, even if you haven't read the comics, I think I think you'd have a good time. But so, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to 
you know, when the first trailer for Sonic 3 comes out in like two years, come back here and tell me I'm an idiot because I was wrong, or, you know, the opposite, because I'm probably not wrong, I'm just, and, and, and you know what, no, I've, I've said enough, I'm rambling now, goodbye.